In this online lecture, I'm going to introduce anti-aromaticity and kind of paint the big picture here of stability between aromatic, non-aromatic, and anti-aromatic molecules. But let's do this via example. Let's say we're trying to determine if the following molecule is aromatic. So let's think of the two criteria. Let's first make sense of his pi bonds. There'd be two p orbitals like this sideways overlapping and the other pi bond would have this arrangement. Notice we do have an uninterrupted pi electron cloud. So the first criterion would be met. However, when you count your number of pairs of pi electrons, you end up with one, two. So notice the second criterion would not be met. However, when you have this kind of situation, you would claim that the molecule is anti-aromatic. So, let's summarize that. What does it mean to be anti-aromatic? Well, number one, just like in aromaticity, you have to have the uninterrupted cyclic planar cloud of pi electrons. And two, you must contain an even number of pair of pi electrons. Notice that's the difference. Aromatic was odd pairs. This one is even pairs. So, that's how we determine if a molecule is anti-aromatic. So now let's look at the big picture here. From now on in organic chemistry, there's technically only three general types of molecules. You have aromatic molecules, which are the most stable. Then you have non-aromatic molecules, which are less stable. And then you have anti-aromatic molecules, which are the least stable. We should definitely know these relative stabilities. So a benzene ring would have extra stability compared to, let's say, a cyclohexane, which is non-aromatic, which would be more stable than this anti-aromatic molecule here. And remember, what it means to be aromatic is, number one, the uninterrupted cyclic pi cloud, two, an odd pair of pi electrons. To be non-aromatic, number one, you wouldn't have an uninterrupted pi cloud, nor would you have an odd pair of pi electrons. And to be anti-aromatic, number one, you would have the uninterrupted pi cloud, but you would simply have an even number of pair of pi electrons.